How about them Cowboys? This is the most front-running, emotionally weak team I have ever seen. When they got that pick six, oh, everyone was going crazy. Let's go. Let's go. But as soon as they got down some points, it was open season for Andy because there was no type of protection. They did a decent job for the first half, the beginning part of the game. You know, the Washington defensive line isn't nothing easy. They kept Chase Young away. They kept them all, you know, going too crazy. And then once they got down some points, oh, they just let Sweat get that pick six. And so then they'll just let Andy get hit and at this game end in a blowout. Now, I had to fight for the first half, but let's be honest. It really wasn't even the Cowboys versus Washington. It was Darby versus Washington. I don't want to disrespect him too much, but, and I want to give Washington their credit because Ron Rivera, he's got some good stuff going over there for Washington. He's got a good culture. I don't want to just give him the credit though because. Their front office has done a great job the last couple years. You got to talk about Terry McLaurin, who if you watched yesterday, I was talking about hopefully this gives him that star status that he deserves because he's been a great receiver with five different quarterbacks, two different head coaches, different systems, and he's been able to keep his production. And he is one of the most productive receivers in the league. He's not super flashy. He's not built like DK Metcalf. But he's just consistent and solid. And he goes well with Alex Smith. And then you got Antonio Gibson. You could argue he's the best rookie running back in the league. I know people love them some Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And his numbers are probably still... Maybe they're not even better now after this game. Probably going to this game, they were a little better. But let's be honest. It's a little easier to show that you're real nice on the Chiefs than on Washington. So Antonio Gibson, you watch the play. That dude is nimble. He makes the guys miss in the backfield. He's real nice. And then the defensive line, I saw like halfway through the year, they gave like grades for every rookie and Chase Young got like a B. They don't, they don't know. I don't know if they're watching football or what, because when I watch Chase Young, sure, he's not getting as many sacks as he, as you might hope. But he gets double teamed quite a bit. It's kind of that Aaron Donald treatment where that Washington defensive line is real nice and he's still the guy getting double teamed. So that shows teams respect him and he's opening stuff up for guys like Sweat and these other guys in the defensive line. So they've got some great young players in there. And not on top of that, they're not just front runners like these Cowboys. If you rewind a couple weeks ago after they lost the Lions, I still predicted this Washington team would win. I'll give you the timestamp if you want to know when I said that exactly because and the video. I'll give you the link because I saw that this Washington team, they're well-rounded. Their record's bad, but they're the only team in the NFC East. Aside from the Giants aren't terrible. I think they were the next best, but they're the one team that I actually think is pretty solid and could win a playoff game because I like Alex Smith. I like the receivers. I like McLaurin. I like the tight end. I like the running back. I like the defensive line. And even the secondary, I know you could say Darby, he got he got burnt more than a blind man's turkey. And I won't disagree with you, but at least he came back and he made a nice play at the end. And that's like their one weakness, maybe. But now he's got to learn from that and just worry about those deep balls because whew, that was basically all the Cowboys could get on these this Washington team. But Ron Rivera... He's done a great job getting these guys inspired. You saw even after that, the pick, the pick six, or yeah, the pick six from Sweat. You see Dwayne Haskins getting in there and he's hyped. He's not sulking. I know a lot of people wanted to tarnish his character, saying reasons that he got benched. Maybe he was acting up. I don't know. But you see him on the sidelines. He's consistently you know, applauding everybody. He's been supporting supportive of Alex Smith. Dwayne Haskins and the guy that... I would have benched him for Alex Smith, but he should have, because I like Alex Smith a lot, but I would have never benched him for Kyle Allen. I think he kind of got a raw deal right there, unless he had some stuff going off the field. That man had all the right to be pouting if he didn't, because he really didn't deserve to be benched based on his play. It wasn't that bad. It was improving. And, but he still kept that attitude positive on the sidelines, you know, slapping Alex on the head, you know, giving him encouragement. The, this Washington team, they're well rounded. These Cowboys, their cheeks. I know Cowboys fans coming off that Vikings win. Oh, we're coming, man. We're running and now we got this easy schedule. Newsflash. You're the easy part of just about every other team's schedule. You can't be talking about no easy schedule. Y'all are too bad for me. Y'all got one win against the Vikings. Y'all, he smashed some watermelons. Got y'all hyped because y'all emotionally weak. And if someone gets you hyped, you'll get going. But as soon as it gets bad, it gets ugly. And it's eventually gonna go bad. So I think, I still think, I said it and they were what, 1-7? and seven? 
that this Washington team was two and seven. What would, I don't know exactly what they were. I think it was two and seven. Yeah, two and seven. I said that they were making the playoffs in the East. People said I was crazy. No one agreed with me. I still think it. I like this Washington team. I like their future. I like what they got going on over there. Cowboys, y'all are some cheeks. Y'all are a bunch of buns. Y'all are the Thanksgiving buns. Washington, they're the nice, pristine turkey. Except for Darby. He's the burnt turkey. That's all I got to say. Let me know what you thought about this game. I had fun watching it. I called it. I said Washington was winning this one. And I didn't know it would be this much of a blowout. I thought the Cowboys might be able to hold on a little longer. But I was joyed to see that. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought. Hit that like. And then you got to subscribe. Yes, sir.